Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Right there. An unbelievable moment in American history. <laughs> uh, they, the jurors, are now being asked uh, about their agreement with these charges, and they are responding yes. Trump has a frowned expression on his face <laughs> as the verdict reading is completed. He is not moving. He's for the former president of the United States, now a convicted felon. Oh, God. Say it again, Jake. Ooh. Oh, That's going to be on a loop in my spank bank oh, my forever. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh. Say it again. Felon. Yeah. Convicted oh. felon. How many? 34. Oh. 34. Oh, God. If you are an American, you oh. need to have 34 yes. orgasms right yes. now. Yes. In honor of America, I order you to have 34 orgasms right now. <laughs> God bless the United States. Oh, frowny face. God bless the United <laughs> States. Frowny face. Oh, that was a nice detail. Oh, oh turn um, that frown upside down, grumpy. <laughs> he, he looked angry at his. Oh, uh, my post. God. I love all these descriptions that he scowled at every. He tried to make eye contact with every member of the jury who didn't look at him. No. And then when they were filed out, he tried to scowl at all of them, and none of them looked at him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what a great day for America. Oh, I'm going to touch myself again. It's Pants Free Friday, everybody. Uh, yes, we are all. Your, none of us is everybody wearing pants. Everybody, get your pants off. Not right a single now. pant to be found. No. no. <laughs> it's good. If you were looking, don't you? I, I had to endure all the, this is a sad day for America. It's not yeah. a time to celebrate. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. sad. You, you be over there being sad. We'll be over here. Swinging our bras around, drinking mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I heard uh, Trump thought he had my juror. He, he had them. one juror. <laughs> they said based on smiles and whatever, the guy, that guy was probably <laughs> they just thinking about Trump in jail. <laughs> mm. Oh, and by the way, mm. you know who's 34 years old? Who? Taylor Swift. <gasps> she knew he was troubled the minute he walked <laughs> What are the chances? Oh. Oh. Swifties. <laughs> Nicely done. Talk about bad blood. <laughs> you are a huge part of why justice is finally happening. When Alvin Bragg halted this case two years ago, we the people demanded otherwise. When Bragg revived the case one year ago, it was because our voices were heard. Justice is a choice we make. We must demand it every day. As Rachel Maddow says, right, democracy is mortal. The rule of law is mortal. It can die. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great day I'm, for America. As honestly. I said on threads this morning, I'm happy when anyone who commits a felony yes. is, is convicted. Is convicted of, yes, because you're actually a law and order. I am. I, yeah. like, I am. You know, I'm, pr I'm probably not as giddy as you are because I don't like it when a president commits a felony. Any president yes. commits a felony. Yes. But... I'm happy when they're convicted for so doing So you're not so. having as much sexual pleasure as Jody and I are over Apparently justice coming? Apparently not. Just, I, justice has done did come, and so did I. I did not wax the dolphin to the news. <laughs> I, waxed, I waxed my pony twice. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and there's a holla in my crick, I tell you what. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not boo-boo the fool up in there. Uh it's Fridays with Frangela. It Come is. on. God loves us and wants us to be happy. John Fugel saying Glenn Kirshner. And Glenn Kirshner. Cannot. Yes. He's not he's, canceling on us, no. which is great. Oh, this is great. Yes, if, he's very busy. Yeah. As it, is every legal person in America. Exactly. But is, yes, so we got, we got one of the most important legal persons in America on this program yeah. this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's, let's because this is, we are in this timeline, let's reminisce. Where were you when you found out the first president in American history? I was what were my... you doing when when the first president in the American history was convicted? Imagine of that felonies? I was at the gym. <laughs> I was on my stationary <laughs> bike, and Bob Seska called and said, "We have to get back on the show." Did you do lift an extra Buick for America, sir? No, I mean I I had music on, and they don't have anything oh, on the TVs right. at, at the gym that sure, I was at, and sure. so I first found out that they had come back with a verdict when you texted all those poop emojis. That was my stomach right before uh -huh. the verdict. Yes. Well, and, here's so, what, so and, so, and so I'm like, maybe I should you know, get out my Sirius XM app, <laughs> go to CNN, <laughs> see what's going on. Yes, you and Jody know what it means yeah. when I just sent you a bunch of poop uh -huh. emojis. I was like, my stomach right now. Yeah. <laughs> because here's the thing. Like, we, I'm watching Nicole Wallace, as I do. That mm -hmm. is my, that's my... And they had they had been reporting it was like four fifteen. They, they they the first report was they're going to go home. Right. They'll be back tomorrow. Right. They're you know they were going to say you know are they going to extend quarter? Is it going to end at four thirty as it does? Right. So that was, and then you know Nicole's in mid sentence and she's like you could see she was like deer in the headlights. She was like, 
Oh, we someone, have a verdict. Someone was and telling her. You can, tell, you can exactly. tell her stomach did the same thing that mine did because I you just didn't know. Right. You were like, what does this mean? Like all the signs, if you're in the normal world, right? And all the normal legal experts, you, you're like, this must be good news, you know, but you you just didn't know. Until, right. And then, but, oh my God, the feeling, the one thirty four guilties in a row was just... <laughs> <laughs> Because you, it, because this mother has been getting away with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, to see a lifetime of karma at least coming this one time in this one place mm -hmm. was, I, I just thought breathtaking. Yeah. What, where were you? Where were you? What were you doing? I was reaction? on my bike, yeah. um, watching a movie, and yeah. then I heard a phone ring, and I thought it was in the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized, no, that's mine. So I ran, and I missed it. And then you it have was, a landline. Oh, okay. It was my cell phone, but it was oh, okay. in another room. Okay. <laughs> and yes, I do have two yes. landlines. Yes. All right. We both, we're um, old ladies that have no landlines, yes. <laughs> but it was myself, it was Bob calling, and he's, and I just missed him, so I called him right back, and I said, uh, what? And he goes, he's guilty. We have to get back on the show. I'm like, <laughs> okay. He goes, are you busy? I said, I'm fine. Okay. All right, let me just stop the movie. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be online in a minute. And so we got back on with David. And, and it was David's birthday yesterday, so he Aww. had a very good birthday present. Happy birthday, David. Aww. Yay. <laughs> look, what, look what present D-Rex got. <laughs> he was very happy with it. Oh, my God. So, uh, Christopher. Hi. You know, I, you know what's weird? I can feel my blood pressure go up when I go over to Fox and then come back down again mm -hmm. to normal levels mm -hmm. when I go back to, to normal MSNBC world. Um, by the way, here's the other thing. It is somebody. How did someone describe it this morning? There was it, it just anti-Americanism was running rampant last mm -hmm. night, all the way up to Susan Collins and Mitch McConnell. Mm -hmm. This party is just totally lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are no longer Marco, the party of law and order. Marco, it is un-American what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Marco I, it, Rubio calling us a banana republic? It's like, like, like Cuba. Right. Yeah, this exactly. is Castro's Cuba. Yeah. I mean, no, it's no. not. Not no. even close. This our, was a, our judicial system worked yesterday. This was a jury of his peers. And can I just tell you, when I was looking, you know, the, the, like my juror, whoever he thought that was, I can't, I didn't realize, I can't believe that guy got on the jury that uh, he got his main source of news was Truth Social. Mm -hmm. That guy was on the jury. It reminds me of the Manafort jury, yeah. where like yeah. one lady's like, "I'm a Trumper. I wanted him to be innocent, but he's not." Right. Right. I mean, I can I just say and they pulled them. Too. You have got sure. to applaud these jurors because Rude Pundit tweeted something I deliberately didn't like or retweet because I didn't want to jinx it. But he said, "How many of these jurors right now do you think are scared?" to death Absolutely. that the idiot MAGA hordes are going to kill them or their families. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a mob trial where you think, oh my God, is he going to get acquitted because they're scared, mm -hmm. which would be understandable. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you have to say, God bless these patriots. Mm -hmm. it, it, by the way, a lot of them sounded more right wing to me. Mm -hmm. Their yeah. some sources of news were Wall Street Journal sure. and again, the guy, Truth Social. Mm -hmm. There was only one person that said they got any news from MSNBC. Mm -hmm. So this was... A jury of his peers. Right. And both sides had to approve each one of them. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. That's what the about. Yep. Exactly. I mean, I, so I don't know. So, I, so there's no excuse for them complaining that no. they could yeah. never get a fair yeah. fair jury in, yeah. in Manhattan because yeah. both sides approved. Absolutely. So I, so I tuned over because I had, you know, days and nights like that you have to. Right. I had to tune to Fox just to oh, I didn't. see what was happening. I did not. First of all, I was cracking up. What's his name? Just, which which snarky, one? Whichever snark. They're all snarky mother. Oh, oh Jesse Waters. Gutfeld. Gutfeld. Exclamation Gutfeld. point. Oh, okay. Why does he have an exclamation point? Uh, Should we do that? Because he's, Stephanie. Because Welcome he's to edgy. Stephanie. Okay. Because he's edgy. Oh. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, maybe we need a different punctuation. Yeah. What should we punctuate Stephanie with? Question mark. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Colon. Because I go from gay to questioning when yeah. Glenn Kirshner is here. Right. Stephanie? <laughs> um. Oh, my God. Anyway, he was doing a segment on masculinity. At, what? Right after the... Ver like, I, I don't... I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but then, you know, they did eventually cover it, and it, it's just a... Sta Cash Patel, who is... Yeah. That's tough to look at. Yeah. I, I don't know which eye to follow. It's... <laughs> Like two competing Mona Lisas, the different eyes are... I don't know right. what it's, it's... The eyes are following me, but I don't know which way to go. Anyway. <laughs> but, I mean, they just... It's like they have a script. Right. They all are just, you know, completely denigrating the judicial system, the rule of law, one after the other. Right. right. And then I tuned to CNN and I see what makes people crazy about CNN. It's so both sides do it. You know, like mm -hmm. I, it's just you have to have the right winger on. That says, I mean, and Abby Phillip, God bless her. Like, you know, they try to fact check. 
But I think to get access and to get these right wingers to keep coming back, it's always, well, we just have to leave it there. It's, and that's no wonder Americans think, oh, well, both sides do it. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, some people think Trump's guilty. No, he he's <laughs> he guilty. A convicted felon. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Should some right wing douche on like I don't and none of it. He's like, oh, you know, the weaponized. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. And she did point out, well, you know, Menendez, what's his name? Bob uh, Menendez, yeah. The president's own right. son. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, right. Oh, I know. He was, she was saying it to a uh, noted uh, biscuit maker, Tim uh, Scott. Tim Scott, yes. Who didn't answer the question at all. No. Just went right on to like, oh, well, you know, all I know, Abby, they financially, because I'm on whatever the committee, they target conservatives. It's no, like, they don't. He didn't address the <laughs> person's own son's going on trial. How is the how is the, the DOJ weapon? I mean, it's like, oh, I know the right wing douche on CNN said, uh, well, you know, Abby, I think I talked to Republicans tonight. They just can't believe the Democrats did this, that they the went Democrats through with this. Didn't do this. The Democrats didn't do this. Like, you, you just. Yeah, someone who happened to be a Democrat brought the charges. Sure. Oh, my God. You, but, can we just say, But there are plenty of people. Give it up for Alvin Bragg, yeah. who, mm -hmm. I mean, a friend of man. mine went to school with him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Some of them said there were, was a piece about him in the Harvard Review when mm -hmm. he was there that called him the anointed one. And I thought, how weird. Yeah, my friend Annette went to undergrad at Harvard yeah. with him. Yeah. But, I mean, I, he had the courage that a lot of it, you know, and, and Adam Schiff was on TV and pointed out, this was not federal. This nope. is state. Yep. It can't be pardoned. Nope. Exactly. They can't intervene. The nope. Supreme Court can't do anything. I mean, it, it's, this is what the rule of law actually looks like and that no one is above the laws as Jody's. Right. fabulous t-shirts exactly says. yeah i mean i i just so i i'm i'm not with the whole oh it's a sad day it's not America. a sad day um oh jimmy kimmel let's i just <laughs> yeah yeah uh 20, 20? yeah one. 34 <laughs> felony charges that's 34 that's 34 that's 34 folks we should automatically make those jurors the new supreme court thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you Thank you. I mean, after the week we've had, a mm -hmm. couple of weeks with the Supreme Court, this was, I think, so desperately needed. Um, give me Alvin Bragg. God bless him. I did my job. Our job is to follow the facts and the law without fear or favor. Uh, and that's exactly what we did here. And what I feel is just gratitude to work alongside phenomenal public servants who do that each and every day uh, in matters that you all write about uh, and make the press and in lots of matters that you don't. Uh, I did my job, we did our job, um, many voices out there. Um, the only voice that matters is the voice of the jury. Thank you. And the jury has spoken. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Uh, God bless him. He took his, Glenn Kirshner says, the maiden legal voyage, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, I, I just, I, we were talking about that Hillary Clinton happened to be speaking somewhere. It was so perfect. She just gets, you know, like a standing ovation. And she, She's just laughing. She said, anything going on today? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say anything else. That's all she had to say? You don't need to. But I mean, it's for those of us that will die mad, <laughs> Hillary was right about everything. He did not legitimately win no, in 2016. Not. This is the first case that has been, uh, he has been convicted on, but only one mm -hmm. of the 11 billion ways, Chris. He has cheated and continues to cheat, right? Like this absolutely this was how he cheated to get a along with Russia, which we should have been, we sh also should have prosecuted. Hi, Merrick Garland. Take a note from Alvin Bragg. There's, I mean, the only reason the massive collusion wasn't proven to a criminal conspiracy level is because of 10 counts of obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. So massive cheating to get elected. Mm -hmm. So he was not elected, uh, you know, tried to cheat with Ukraine mm -hmm. to get reelected. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? <laughs> Right. Then January 6th tried to cheat to stay in power after he lost. Mm -hmm. And now like the, the OK, I know I'm going on. You're, yeah, you're going <laughs> Don't you give me the rap signal. I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm putting this, this horse in the barn. OK. All right. But just the fact that now they have to hold hearings on him colluding with oil executives right. for a bribe, for a billion dollars to change, for a promise to change policy mm -hmm. to help them when he's in office. Yep. So he's cheating even before the next election in God knows how many myriad ways mm -hmm. already. 
you are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 